Howdy, folks. Well, our salted nut roll fiasco continues, because guess what I stumbled upon in Dollar General? If you said another salted nut roll, you'd be partially right. Oh, let's get straight to it. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the Larry the Cable Guy Get Her Done Bar, powered by Salted Nut Roll. So, Pearson is getting celebrity endorsements these days? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you uh, outside the States, Larry the Cable Guy is basically a redneck comedian and Get Her Done is his, uh, is his line, uh, is his line of choice, so to speak. It's what he's known for. Just like how Rodney Dangerfield never got any respect, Larry the Cable Guy is Mr. Get Her Done. Now, I'm explaining this because Ashens ran into some Larry the Cable Guy stuff, uh, I think it was like beer bread or something on one of his videos, and he didn't have a clue who this guy was, so I thought Larry the Cable Guy was more well known in maybe the UK or something, but I guess maybe he is more of kind of a US thing. Kind of like Top Gear America. But yep, it looks like a cross between a salted nut roll and a granola bar with the chocolate chips. Or is that really all they did to change it up? Was add chocolate chips to the usual salted nut roll, nugget in the middle, caramel and peanuts and stuff like that? We shall see. Anyways, it was probably... Anyways, uh, well, I saw in the Dollar General, so at least we know we're not looking at the dollar store this time. Ingredients. Peanuts, milk, chocolate drops. Okay, so there is some sugar and stuff like that. Yeah, well, of course there is. Manufactured on shared equipment with, there's our old friend, Tree Nuts again. Of course, manufactured by Pearson Candy, St. Paul, Minnesota. The same folks responsible for Bitto Honeys and stuff like that. Now let's do something we didn't do with previous salted nut roll stuff. Flip the flap and look at the nutrition facts. No serving shenanigans. The serving size is one bar. 360 calories, of which 150 of them come from fat. This thing is the caloric equivalent of a beef burger. Uh, total fat, 25%, 23% saturated fat for the day, 10% sodium, carbs, 45 grams, sugar is 34 grams, so it sits up there, basically. Um, yeah, well, all right, well, let's quick go over the labels here, and let's see what we have to work with. So, Larry the Cable Guy, get her done, bar. Actually, well, let's open it from the other end just to be different. I predict a cross between a salted nut roll and a granola bar because of the added chocolate chips. I have had some chewy chocolate bar or granola bars over the years that uh, my folks bought because they want to be replacing candy bars, something like that. Oh, we don't like to have Hershey bars, but we'll gladly get you the granola bar and stuff. Yep, slightly darker variant of the salted nut roll, although it seems to be shorter on the nuts this time around. All right, Larry the Cable Guy, get her done bar in three, two, one. Huh. Nope. This is the payday ripoff. Not a traditional salted nut roll. This is the payday ripoff bar. We had that sofa showdown earlier with payday versus salted nut roll. And the payday bar had more caramel type stuff in the middle. Where's the nugget? <laughs> or did I get a bad one? I don't know. Not necessarily a cross between a salted nut roll and a granola bar. Kind of a cross between a payday bar and a granola bar. Because what's in the middle is more caramel-like. Let's take another bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Still tastes somewhat like a salted nut roll. But there's different color stuff in the middle. And it does get a little bit closer to a payday bar. Except for the chocolate. So, uh, so, of course, the moral of the story is, I was way off. Cross between a salted nut roll and a granola bar, this ain't. It's still worth it, but I think I would prefer the dollar store variety over this. Ooh, more chocolate fell out. Ah, there's more nuts falling out in the middle. Yeah, clean that later. The interesting part is, um, this bar actually is a charity candy bar. Uh, every purchase, I believe, has something that goes to the Larry the Cable Guy Geeter Dunn Foundation. I'll have to put something in the description or something like that to see what the charity's all about. But I suppose if it's for a good cause, a goofball rip-off bar like this can be more than worth it. Seek and ye shall find. Thanks, Google. 
The Gear Dunn Foundation is a nonprofit organization established in 2009 by Larry and his wife Kara as a focal point for the family's philanthropy. Emphasizing on children's and veterans' causes, the Gear Dunn Foundation has donated to great organizations such as the Arnold Palmer Hospital, Operation Homefront, and Madonna Rehabilitation Hospital. For more information, click the foundation link near the top of the page. Interesting. Well, it's good to be supporting a good cause. So I suppose I can forgive it for not being as salted nut roll-ish if it's helping out with a charity of some sort. Anywho. And to keep in line with previous sentiments, we should probably throw in that what Larry the Cable Guy does with his charity salted nut rolls is his own business.